been a marvellous tournament and uh, as we now reach the climax. This then for the third and fourth playoff. It's Jean-Pascal Barak. Remember the name. Just inside the Australian half. Will it be straight enough? It's got the length. Oh, yes, absolutely. Well, he scored 16 points against Australia eight days ago. And uh, he is class. Saliva, Saliva of the Western Force. Eight players play in the senior rugby, super rugby, from this Australian side. So a lot of experience at the top level. Kingston, university student in uh, Sydney. And Nail Lucas there. Sonny Mank band. Blake Enever. Good work by Scott Seo. Look at the support he's got as well, and look at the power of those legs driving forward. Lucas Volovola. Flat ball, way by Meeks. This is uh, Fanga. Oh, and a break here. This is with Kingston. Kingston to score the opening try. Brilliantly done. Well, they've not threatening he and Meeks from the start. And that was a lovely cutback by Tom Kingston. Yeah, they'll be celebrating at Sydney University early hours of the morning, but it was all by fine up. He went across the field and allowed Kingston to come back on the angle. And geez, once he got ahead, he put the ball in the right hand, fended it off, dived beautifully. Second try for the young man in the tournament. Try for Australian. Touch. Pause. Engage. On the halfway line, Lucas feeding the scrum. Fine guy R breaks off. Oh, good break, and he's got support as well. Should be a try here, and it's a run in for Matt Lucas. Well, where was the French defence around the scrum? Fine guy R, well, he just took them away. Rather sloppy tackles there, but look at the break and look at the support. Well, that's where it was. He beat Galan as well. He should have been taken. I'm not sure where the Chateau is 100%, Nigel. He's had a bit of a knock, and that was the channel that uh, Colby Fying identified. Beautiful, solid scrum, picked it up, went right. Once he had beaten Chateau and then Galan, it was just a matter of running in his halfback. And Matt Lucas from the Sunnybank Club and his third cap scores try number two for Australia. Lost forward. Still advantage blue. Not the best pass from the place, and another Frenchman is down. Advantage over. Advantage over, and Bourgeois. Bourgeois to Legourge. This could be a real chance now. Flicks it on quickly from uh, Flisson to Barak. Barak still five metres out. A try now would really bring morale to the French side. The drive just short of the line. Within a metre, France here, Le Gorge, Plisson. This is fullback Palis. Palis there, I think he might have made it. He's got the try. Jeffrey Palis, France right back in this game. And doing well with one man injured upfield. But that was persistent. And in the end, the drive of the fullback brought them the score they so desperately needed to get into the game. Radar certainly on for Volavola today. It's still wide open here in Padua. The third place playoff. France 10, but Australia lead 17 points to 10. Not tight enough for my liking. This to get two scores clear. Head on to the post. No mistake. Bisects the uprights and gives a bit of a cushion now to Australia. 20 points to 10 over France. Corker. 23 to 10. And Vola Vola certainly found his kicking boots today. 
Well, it'd be something heroic, something magical if, if uh, France can turn this one around. Bissonsang to Brisson. Lovely pick up there by Palis. Palis with Artru chasing, covering is Anderson. Quick throw in, this could be a chance for Kobe. He's got the try. It's not over till it's over. And France keep that door just a little ajar. He reaches and scores. Jeez, that's brilliant ball control from the young man. And uh, well aware too. Have a look at this. He reaches, he's allowed to place the ball, and that's what he's done. O'Connor is down with a bit of, uh, I don't know, maybe cramp or whatever, but he's down and out at the moment. Dussard, the captain, coming on late into this game. Can they produce one little bit of magic? Turnover ball, a steal, a crucial steal by Australia. And not an unsensible thing to do to set France right back to their own line. One wonders why Australia didn't play the game with the boot on, more deeply into the French half. The take is brilliant there from Bredenhan. Bredenhan to Morahan. Morahan's going to score and settle the issue. Simon Morahan, the teenager, will be the hero of the moment. In the dying seconds, the outcome is secure for the young Wallabies. Yes. Watch here. Well, he took it well. Indeed, did Bredon Hahn. And then Morahan, playing like a sevens player, beat two men and scored right by the post. Morris. The conversion is good. It's 30 points to 17 as the crowd stand to a, a, a tremendous battle. At times a war of attrition, at times some brilliance, but in these sweltering conditions, they produce a magnificent contest. And Australia, second last time, this time will have to settle for bronze. Third place in the IRB Junior World Championship here in Padova.